Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, you're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and today something very historic is going on in Canada. Stay tuned and I'll tell you what. <laughs> So as you guys are watching this, it is now Saturday, but on Wednesday, October the 17th, 2018, a very historic time in Canadian history. Cannabis has become legal recreationally. And for some, it seems to be a huge ordeal. For others, including myself, it's just another day in this world. Now, are we going to be setting up, setting ourselves up for some troubles down the road? Well, I do agree that it's going to be a learning curve. However, we are going to treat it, or at least I think we should be, treating it just like we treat alcohol. You shouldn't be able to do it while you're driving, while you're at work, or in public areas, especially if, it's the, if you're smoking it. So uh, if you're doing it for medicinal purposes, great. There are all kinds of medicinal purposes out there and medicinal options that you can take cannabis for that will not get you high. So am I pro cannabis? Am I a user? No, I am not. Uh, have I ever been? <laughs> 20 years ago when I was a kid? Sure. I smoked a joint or two, but as time goes on, I realized it wasn't for me. I did not like the high. I did not like the way it made me feel, so I didn't do it. When I was a kid, I stuck to beer. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the new cannabis retail store in New Brunswick. So again, if you're in Canada and you are a marijuana user, today might be your day to be able to buy marijuana recreationally and legally, but beware, it's not cheap. The price for one gram, about eight bucks. So if you do the math, in an ounce, you're looking at about 230 or 40 bucks for an ounce. Anyways, we've got ourselves a new dealer on the block, boys. So. Keep your eyes open for that. Okay guys, enough about pot. It's time to get back to work on old bubbles. Today, we are going to be installing the lift kits on, I say kits because we're doing front and rear, on project bubbles. And basically all they entail are spacers that fit between where the strut mounts and the inner fender. So we're just putting those on front and rear. So let me show you what those look like. So basically what you've got is you've got a thick spacer and one is for the front and this one's for the rear. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is because it's the cheapest and easiest way to get this thing lifted up a little bit to help accommodate some bigger tires or at least make it look a lot better. And granted, this is just a redneck style project that we're doing. These I got off of eBay. As I mentioned before, they came from Russia. It's the only place I could find. Uh, a set of these at a reasonable price and they were basically $55 per end so 55 for the front 55 for the back they came with all the hardware and I will leave the link to these in the description below so that if you guys are working on your very own project bubbles you know where to go to get a lift kit so without further ado let's get this thing ready to get up in the air and uh, see what we've got to do to make it happen and of course those don't fit So basically the new stabilizer link that we just put on, we're taking off. Why? Because we're going to move the strut and that's where it's attached to. So I thought it was going to be just as simple as lowering the strut and putting the block in. But the studs on the top of the mount aren't long enough. You've got to replace them with the long ones that come with the kit. So to make it a lot easier, haul the whole thing right out. It takes a couple extra minutes. you got your ABS sensor here 
is two 10 millimeter bolts on each side and then you get your brake line with the little clip that fits on the strut there as well. So you got two bolts here, three bolts up there, your link kit, brake line and ABS. So once we get that far, we can pound out the three old studs and replace them with the longer ones and then we're good. So once we get this new bolt in here, we're gonna put a bigger nut on there as a spacer and then we're gonna wind up the threads on this one to pull it through the hole again. So there's one, now we'll do the other, th other two. So there's that. I suppose I should have fit that on there first, make sure it's gonna fit. And now this is ready to assemble back up into the fender. So everything went smoothly on the front. We got both front lift spacers in place, everything bolted up. The second side went a heck of a lot quicker than the first because I ended up having all the right tools out finally. We come to the back and the back came out very, very quickly again because all the tools were the same. But once I got the strut out on the driver's side rear, uh, that's when I realized that we've got a little bit more work ahead of us. Well, let me show you what I mean. On this particular strut mount, the three bolts that hold the strut mount into the fender are there and they've got to come out the same way by beating them out but they will not come out past the top coil on the uh, coil spring here so i came over here to our trusty spring compressor and it would not compress the spring enough by itself and that's when i remembered that before we got the strut compressor we had the old manual jobby and the manual jobby I found it and basically this is what it is it's two great big long bolts that connect to the spring through these little u-bolts here and what you do is you end up cranking up these nuts everything kind of squishes together and I should be able to release the strut mount from everything else and hopefully be able to get those studs out so that is what we're going to do right now so I had to get the big tools out, inch and a sixteenth of the size of these nuts, so that's leave my adapter. So I think that's going to spin freely enough that we should be able to knock those out of there, no problem. Give them a little squirt. And a big hammer. And one. Two. Question is, can I get these ones to go back up in there? All right, so now all we got to do is make sure that this is in the same spot as when it went in, and we can release these. And now we'll just do the same to the other side, and we'll close this video out. So it is at this point in the video that my battery died. This is what we woke up to this morning. A fine dusting of white poop. So I don't know how well the audio is going to come out on this because it is super, super windy today. But I wanted to make sure I showed you guys the final product of the installed lift kit on Bubble. So I am going to cue a little bit of music and do a quick walk around. So it definitely is sitting up a little bit higher, more so noticeably in the back than the front. But in about a couple of hours last night, we managed to get this pulled together and now we are ready for some bigger tires. Old Car Auto Guy merchandise is still on sale until the end of the month. There is a link in the description box below, so head over there now and check it out. T-shirts and hoodies are on sale. If you haven't had the chance yet, Go right now and hit that subscribe 
button and bell notification. It is so important to me that you do that. Why, you may ask? Well, it helps me to reach my goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers. For you, it benefits you because you will get an email notification letting you know that I've uploaded a new video. So please, go do that right now. I'll sit right here and wait. Done? Excellent. Also guys, give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think, new ideas, whatever you wanna say, that's the place to do it, guys. As always focus on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.